What's up guys, I'm DFC Vlogs back to another vlog for you guys. Today's vlog it's Easley versus Maystone. It's my first vlog back since I've been on holiday. The last vlog I did was Chesterfield and then I missed the Dorking FA Cup fourth quarter of round and then Jack filled in in between there. Obviously he didn't go to the Soil Your game but in between there he did fill in the game for me. But I appreciate it for Jack doing that for me. A lot of games to catch up from. We beat Dorking, first game I missed. The second game was, I think, Solial away. We lost 3-0 there. It was Tuesday night against Torquay. We beat Torquay 1-0. And then went to Woking. We lost 1-0 to them. And Tuesday night, we played Scomfort. We beat them 2-0. So we um, doubled from Vinny. And then Saturday just went. We played Bournemouth Woods. I was in FA Cup. And then again, yet again, we played Bournemouth again. And we lost, this time, we lost 3-1. It's against Maystone, which I'm sort of pumped to be back to see how easy you've been playing. Obviously, you've not been to a live game since Chesterfield at home, which was like almost a month ago. So the performances are lately a bit off and on for Eastley, but hopefully today we can get a win, especially with our home form undefeated so far this season at home. So I hope you can continue that. I think for score business today, I think we will... We will win. I think we'll go for I go for a three 0 win. A bit optimistic, but I think a three 0 win should be should be right. After after coming a loss off a Bournemouth away from home, so hopefully you come back yet yeah, win. Right, score best your job. Goes way bit the other side of the camera. Uh, I'm going to go two 0 easily today. I'm glad he stays in, but I did think he'd get dropped because there were all the negative comments about him. I think it's unfair. Three 0 easily. Three 0 easily. I went out as well. Nil nil. I think we're still going to break him down. Nil nil. Three nil.
Oh my god. 
He's fucking he's incredible. Fucking, How do you feel about the match? He fucking deserves it. Shout out to some of those haters as well. They're all going to say shit after this game, are they? Yeah. 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 There you guys, the end of the vlog. What a win. A 5-2 win from Eastley. Obviously, in the first half, we went 1-0 up. Deservedly, I'd say, in the first 15 minutes from Daniel Whitehall. But after that, we should have scored more than one goal. Should have scored three goals in that first half an hour. But in the end, we didn't, which is a problem for us. We're not taking our chances. And then, obviously, Maystone come back in that first half, scored... Two goals after the 30th minute to put the game at half time 2 1 to Maystone. They did deserve them two goals. We shouldn't have been in that position. We should have been um, up like three goals. And I'll see if we, if we were up 3 0. And I think them two goals probably would, most likely wouldn't happen. Second half comes, Maystone sort of starts off the better side. And then we go through and goal with Tristan and Abraham and Gavin Hoyt. Brings him down, which the referee sees that obviously goal scoring opportunity, and then obviously sends him off. His return back to the Silver Lake gets sent off, and then Tristan steps up, takes the penalty. He's been in poor form lately, and obviously manages to get his goal, which hopefully that boosts his confidence. And from there, we ran Ryan against them. Ryan Hill comes on, and Vince Harper comes on. Twenty seconds later, Vince Harper scores in that exact same position he, he scored in when he came on for. In this comfort game, it scores from corner kick. Cissé scores last goal of the game. It was an 88th minute. It was a cross, a cross goal, and then one of the Mason players taps it in in the own net, which makes it a five-two win. I don't, I can't remember the last time when we scored five goals at home in a league, but I think that's a fantastic win. We should have scored more than five goals. The amount of chances we had. But in the end, a 5-2 win is brilliant. Joint 7th, I believe, with Bournemouth just ahead of us for goal difference. And it still keeps us undefeated at home. In the home league form, was third. I believe it was County, then Wrexham. And we joined with Wrexham just by on goal difference. But I've got to say, our stand-up performance is from Cissé. He absolutely sort of controlled that midfield. And then he done a f um, three great passes over the top and along the floor three balls which i think he did in the end with that goal he did deserve the man of the match this game is against Notts county at home which is going to be a tough tough game obviously Notts county are sitting top of the league and then there will bring quite a lot of fans probably the 600 plus with ease that that i've noticed that we've not lost to county at our ground uh, since they've been in, in the league so hopefully we can continue that obviously with a home for undefeated at home I'll take a draw if, if we do draw against County, but if we'll win, it'd be a massive win for us, especially for the title race as well against Wrexham. But if we do win, that keeps us us in the playoffs push. But yeah, if you do enjoy this vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you Saturday.